on that achievement and on Saturday they opened at home to hearts. David Proven reports. Hearts travelled to Perth hoping to reproduce the form that saw them pull clear of relegation late last season and they did that and a lot more. Gary McSwegan put them ahead on the half hour mark with a superb solo effort. Darren Dodds was left for dead as McSwegan turned inside and there was enough pace on the shot to beat Alan Main. One up at the break, Hearts changed up a gear in the second half, although it took them until the 66th minute to double their lead through Thomas Flogel. The exchange with McSwegan was good enough to open Saints up at the back, and once again, Alan Main was blameless. And it should have been three when some sloppy defending let McSwegan in again. The striker was quick enough to run clear, but couldn't hit the target. A good chance this for the striker, and it wasn't to be the last in a great opening day for the Jambos. At the other end, St. Johnson were struggling to make any real headway, although Paul Kim came close from 20 yards. A well-struck shot this from the midfielder, and perhaps a turning point in the match as Hearts went three up within minutes. Darren Dodds turning McSwegan's cutback past main. This down to a lack of communication between the pair, and with just 12 minutes left, wrapped up the points. Hearts could have been forgiven for switching off at this stage, but they continued to get forward, with Darren Jackson setting up Colin Cameron. He didn't fancy the shot first time around, but finished at the second time of asking. And having missed most of last season through injury, Cameron showed in this game that his fitness certainly isn't a problem now. St. Johnson kept plugging away for a consolation goal and they got it with seven minutes left through John McQuillan. Yeah. Substitute John O'Neill set the chance up and McQuillan's strike was enough to deny Jules Rousset a clean sheet. 4-1 it finished. 